To be an elite quarterback in the NFL today, a strong arm is not enough. Thanks to a handful of players, you need the ability to beat the defense with both your arms and your legs. Here are the NFL's greatest dual threat QBs of all time. Number 10, Tobin Rote. Rote was a quarterback ahead of his time. Playing in the 1950s and 1960s, the idea of an NFL dual threat quarterback was a foreign concept. QBs weren't expected to be able to both run and throw the ball at a high level, but that is exactly what Rote did. In 1956, he led the league in passing yards and touchdowns while being second in rushing touchdowns. Rote's 29 combined TDs were the highest single season total in NFL history and the highest total in the 12-game schedule era. Before you say the season was a fluke, Rote led his team in rushing yards in three seasons and rushing touchdowns in four five. That is just unheard of for a quarterback. All these years later, and he is still tied for third in rushing TDs by a QB with 37, Rote is widely regarded as the original dual-threat quarterback, so he will always find himself on this list. Number 9. Josh Allen Fresh out of college, Allen was viewed as a good athlete, but not necessarily a true dual threat. At Wyoming, he averaged just 3.2 yards per carry and didn't have a 40-yard dash time that jumped off the page at 4.76. However, Allen did show that he should be feared as a runner. At 6'5 and 237 pounds, Allen picks up serious steam and force when he gets moving down the field. Few defenders want to or can stop him when he lowers his shoulder. In 2019, in his second season in the league and first as the Bills' full-time starter, Allen was third in the league in QB rushing yards. This past season, Allen was third again, but only 21 yards behind the leader. His 28 rushing touchdowns are tied for the most by a QB in his first 50 career starts. And while his rushing ability may have somewhat been a secret, his arm strength was far from one. Allen was advertised as having a rocket for an arm. His last two seasons have been unreal as he combined for nearly 9,000 passing yards and 73 touchdowns. Along with his arm strength, Allen uses his dual threat ability to make tough throws on the run. As time goes on and he adds to his resume, Allen will probably continue to move up this list. After only four seasons in the league, he is only six rushing TDs away from being tied for third all-time in the category. Number 8. Steve McNair Standing at 6'2 and weighing 230 pounds, McNair just didn't look like a dual-threat quarterback. And even though in the 1995 draft he was the third pick overall, McNair didn't become a full-time starter for the Titans until his third season. But you should never judge a book by its cover. Once he got his chance, Steve made the most of it. In his first three years as a starter, he scored 20 rushing touchdowns. He was so big and strong that defenders just couldn't bring him down without help. The following season, in 2000, McNair put it all together as a dual threat and made his first career Pro Bowl. Then, in five of the next six years, he threw for over 3,000 yards. The first time he didn't do it was in 2004, when he only played half of Tennessee's games due to an injury. In 2003, McNair even took home the league's MVP award. He finished his career tied for third in NFL history for QB rushing touchdowns with 37 and eighth in quarterback rushing yards with 3,590. Number 7. Fran Tarkenton While he wasn't the league's first dual-threat quarterback, Fran was the first one to actually be great at both passing and rushing. He once called himself a freak, and when asked why, Tarkenton said, The reason was simple. I played quarterback and I ran. There were no design runs in our playbook, but I would scramble out of the pocket when a play broke down. Although scrambling is a part of today's game, and even an ability that is now desired, that was not always the case. Tarkenton said, It was not a skill set that was embraced. Plenty of people mocked it, and the rest wrote it off. While people were mocking him, Fran was busy tearing up defenses. At the time of his retirement, he led the league all-time with 47,003 passing yards. 342 passing touchdowns. He also had the most rushing yards ever by a quarterback with 3,674. Today, he is still sixth all-time in QB rushing and tied for 10th in rushing TDs for the position. Number 6. Russell Wilson as someone who was doubted coming out of college because of his lack of size, Wilson needed to get creative to earn a shot in the league. In the 2012 draft, the Seahawks took Russ in the third round with the 75th overall pick. And as a rookie, Wilson wasn't the starter from day one, but he forced Seattle to make him the guy. In training camp and the preseason, Russ demonstrated that his size wasn't going to hold him back from being a great QB. Along with being all-around athletic, the reason he's so good at what he does is because of his vision and quick thinking. Russ strategically picks his spots to attack opposing defenses on the ground and then strikes, rather than relying on next-level strength or speed. His elite football mind also plays a huge role in why he's such an elite passer. In all but one of Wilson's 10 seasons in the league, he has made the Pro Bowl. 2016 was the only year that he didn't, and he was banged up from injuries all season, which greatly limited his mobility. Now, with plenty of seasons left to play, Russ is already fourth all-time in QB rushing yards. Number 5. Randall Cunningham 
Cunningham was neck and neck with Steve Young for the greatest dual threat of their era. While previous dual threat QBs were seen more as scramblers, Cunningham was viewed as an actual runner. This speaks to his ability to make plays with his legs in situations other than when plays would just break down. He was so dynamic that the Eagles actually began designing run plays for him, as opposed to having it always be spontaneous. After spending a decade with the Eagles, Cunningham finished as the franchise's third all-time leading rusher, even including running backs. A few seasons later in 1998, when Cunningham was playing for the Vikings, he had a season that showed he could also be a great passer if he wanted to be. He led Minnesota to a 15-1 record while throwing for 34 touchdowns and leading the league with 3,704 passing yards. Upon his retirement, Cunningham held the record for the most QB rushing yards with 4,928. He is still second all-time in yards per carry at 6.4, third in total QB rushing yards, and sixth in quarterback rushing touchdowns with 35. Though, devastatingly for Cunningham, he somehow managed to finish second in MVP voting a record tying four times. Number 4. Lamar Jackson even though the football world was very familiar with Jackson's dual threat ability ahead of the 2018 draft, he fell to the Ravens at the last pick of round one. Lamar had won college football's most prestigious award with the Heisman Trophy, but there were still doubts about his passing skills and whether his game would translate to the next level. Jackson silenced these naysayers in just his second season in the league, and his first one as Baltimore's full-time starter. In 2019, he threw for over 3,000 yards and rushed for over 1,000 more while scoring a combined 43 touchdowns. Jackson also broke the NFL record for the most single-season rushing yards by a QB on his way to becoming the second player ever to unanimously win MVP and the second youngest player to win the award. In addition to his absurd shiftiness and lethal juke move, Lamar has speed that rivals the fastest players in the NFL, not just quarterbacks. Although he didn't run the 40-yard dash at the NFL Combine, Jackson apparently ran a 4.34 in college. For context, the Combine record for a QB is 4.33. Lamar is so talented that this past season he made the Pro Bowl while only playing in 12 of the Ravens' 17 games. As his career continues to unfold and the defenders are left in the dust with broken ankles, Jackson will most likely find himself at the top of this list one day. After having started only 49 games, Lamar is already 7th all-time in QB rushing yards with 3,673. Number 3. Cam Newton Newton led the league's latest generation of dual-threat QBs to prove there is still a place for them, even in a pass-heavy league. By the time of his 2011 rookie season, NFL offenses had become obsessed with throwing the ball. Newton immediately showed the value of being able to both throw and run. He set rookie records for passing and rushing yards by a QB with 4,051 and 706 while winning Offensive Rookie of the Year. Newton also set the league's record for most rushing TDs in a season by a QB with 14. But no season better highlights Newton's ceiling as a dual threat than his 2015 campaign. He led the Panthers to a franchise-best 15-1 record and a Super Bowl appearance while winning league MVP. That year, Newton had nearly 4,500 combined total yards and 45 total touchdowns. He literally looked like Superman out there. At 6'5", 245 pounds, Newton is nearly impossible for opposing defenders to tackle. Even with injuries plaguing the latter half of his career, he still holds the NFL record for most QB rushing touchdowns, and it isn't even close. With 75 of them, Newton has 32 more than second place. He is also second all-time in QB rushing yards with 5,628. Number 2. Steve Young for a long time, Young was viewed as the poster child for dual-threat quarterbacks. They were typically known for their speed and athleticism, but not necessarily their passing ability. Young, on the other hand, was the complete package. Not only was he a great runner, but he was an extremely accurate passer. During the 1994 season, he set an NFL record for highest passer rating at 112.8. Over his career, he led the league in passer rating for a record six seasons and in passing touchdowns for four seasons. When he retired, he had the highest passer rating among quarterbacks with at least 50 1,500 passes. Along with his precision accuracy, Young constantly found the end zone when running the ball. He set a league record for most rushing touchdowns by a QB with 43 on his way to racking up 4,239 yards on the ground. His rare combination of speed and athleticism helped him win three Super Bowls, two league MVPs, and earn a spot in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He is by far the most accomplished dual threat QB we've ever seen. Today, he is fifth in NFL history in QB rushing yards and second in quarterback rushing touchdowns with 43. Honorable Mentions 
John Elway, Donovan McNabb, and Aaron Rodgers are all quarterbacks who don't get enough credit for their rushing abilities. Elway was the second player to ever throw for 40,000 yards and rush for 3,000 more. McNabb was the fourth player to have 30,000 passing yards, 200 touchdown passes, 3,000 rushing yards, and 20 rushing touchdowns. Rodgers, from 2008 to 2016, in every season but one, was top seven among QB rushing yards. That one season was 2013, when he only played nine games because of a broken collarbone. All three are top 11 all-time QB rushing yard leaders, and Rodgers and Elway rank 8th and 9th in all-time QB rushing touchdowns, respectively. Kyler Murray is also a young QB who will almost certainly be included in this list after more experience and studying more film. Murray, like Lamar Jackson, has speed and elusiveness that matches the best athletes in the NFL, not just quarterbacks. In both of his first two seasons, he was second in the league in QB rushing yards. Number 1. Michael Vick this list wouldn't be complete without including the most lethal dual threat the league has ever seen. After tearing up college football and setting an NFL draft combine record for fastest QB 40-yard dash time at 4.33, Vic in the 2001 draft went first overall. He was lightning quick, could juke defenders out of their shoes, and had an arm strong enough to throw the ball 75 yards. It looked like Vic was playing a video game on the field, and there was nothing defenders could do about it. He is viewed as one of the most exciting players to ever play the sport. Vic also is credited with inspiring the NFL's next generation of dual-threat quarterbacks. Not only did he inspire, but he transformed the position with how he dominated. Today, Vic is still the league's all-time leading rusher for QBs with 6,109 yards. Vic is also first all-time in yards per carry, regardless of position, at 7.0. What's crazy to think about is that he managed to do all of this while missing two seasons in the middle of his prime due to spending 21 months in federal prison. And yet, it's safe to say that the bar is set sky-high for anyone trying to knock Vic off the throne.